This video is on uh, Google Sites page editing and layout. We have these key buttons right here, uh, the share, which we'll have to go over in a letter. You can change your settings to make it so the site can only be visible by certain people or people with a link. More we'll talk about later. This is when you're ready to add more pages to the website. Right now we only have one. And here's where we are today. We're going to be working on the edit page feature. So if I click edit page, now we can see we have a cursor right here. And if I want to add text, I can add text. You can also highlight text and make it bold, italics, underlined. Some fonts are available, not many. Some sizes are available, limited to those. Change the color and the background of your text. This is how we do our numbering. Where do you want the pictures to be? What about the indent? But here's what I wanted to especially go over. This is the layout. And this is how you can change some of the settings of your page so that you can have maybe a small sidebar. You can have a one big, small, small a 121, which is one of my favorites. A 131, it gets a little tight, but it's a nice way to do columns. Just split the whole page down the middle. Let's go with 121. As you can see now here looking on the site, we have space to put stuff here. We have space to put stuff here, here, and here. Four different places. So we have first base, second, third, and fourth. You can change this layout at any time and it'll just kind of try to figure out what you want it to do. So now I have a smaller box here and a bigger box here. Two columns. See, it's just trying to guess. Let's see if I go back to one, will it know what to do? No. So beware bouncing around. I would advise stick with the 121 format or 111, but 121 seems to work really well. The last thing you can do, let's you have to press save or else you won't get anything that you just did. So first, let's see how it looks. First, second, third, save and you can see it's kind of placed them. Add images and the box will get bigger accordingly. Okay, the last thing I want to do with layout is under more. So if we click on more, we get this new feature and it's a quick edit site layout. You can add or change all of these values. Okay, the sidebar, we can add things to it, add navigation. I'm gonna say that I want as much width for content as possible. I'm going to teach you how to how to put your navigation somewhere else. But the width of the page is super important that I have as much as possible. So I want to click the header button. Sorry. Click the sidebar button. And the sidebar goes away. And now I have more width. Do you want a custom footer? Undo. I want to. I took my header away that had the name of the site. I want to bring that back. And you can change the height of this, but that's okay for now. So, no title. Remove header. Bring it back. You like the sidebar? Click on it. It comes back. You can see which ones there are, or take it off. And that is uh, just the page layout and the quick page editing in a nutshell.